Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. All right, folks, thanks so much for continuing to stick around here on the newscast on this Tuesday. We hope you've been enjoying this winter like weather that has finally arrived. And if you're like myself, I had to scrape some frost off my car this morning. So you need to get that uh, scraper on standby because over the next several nights, we're going to be getting pretty cold. We're going to be definitely needing that scraper to uh, get some of that frost off your windshield. So remember when you are doing this, turn the car on for a little bit, put the defroster mode on and that uh, circulating um, machine machinery button on your vehicle. You don't talk about it just right next to the AC button. It pretty much allows that uh, defroster to allow the uh, frost to melt off your vehicle. That's why I'm not an automotive. That's why I do the weather. But anyway, we have a lot of sunshine and that'll quickly develop into a mix of clear skies tonight with our sunset coming in at 521. And for the record, we're now are getting closer to the longest. We're getting longer in the evening hour. So you maybe have noticed that over the past several days where our sunsets are now getting closer to 530 now and that'll be happening here by the end of the month. We'll be having those 530 sun uh, sets and those early morning sunrises are now getting later in the morning because of the uh, excuse me are now getting earlier because of the tilt of the atmosphere, uh, the earth thing of that nature as well. So it just do know that we're going to see a pretty cold night and we see are here our area overnight lows are going to be dipping in the 20s. Like I said, you're definitely going to be needing that ice scraper first thing tomorrow morning. So make sure you have that somewhere if you have to put that on in your lunch box, if you pack lunch to work, if you put it in your coat, something to remind you so you'll know you'll have that as a, in the making. A clear sky and a dry night is in the making uh, as our temperatures are going to range to the 27 Oak Level, 26 there in Martinsville, 25 in Ridgeway. That was not, look at that, we got 28, 27, 26, 25. That was not intentionally uh, made like that, but you know what? Sometimes the weather world, you make it do its wonders. So anyway, 30 both in Boone's Mill and Rocky Mount, as well as in Stewart, both coming in at 31 as Ararat, Woolwine, Patrick Springs as you're making your way up towards uh, the um, Stewart di District. You're going to be having a nice night. Meanwhile, our friends in Philpot Lake, if you do live around Philpot Lake, like our own Chad Hall does, just giving him a shout out, send me a picture of that lake because I want to see what it looks like with the cold and that frost and that uh, ice over over on the river, or I guess the lake, I guess, or the Philpot Dam is what it's called. So anyway, send some pictures into those morning sunrises because I definitely want to showcase your photos. All right, let's move on now to the next uh, graphic we all thoroughly enjoy uh, talking about as well, and that is our ratings forecast. We're going to see our temperature staying in the 50s for the majority of us. So if you have a, a thing scheduled outdoors tomorrow, absorb the 54 degrees from the mix of sun and clouds from time to time. We will see no rain expected, so that'll be the good news for us. As you see there, 9 out of 10 tomorrow. Reason is because after the cold start, we're going to see on your uh, Tuesday night and Wednesday morning, just do know that we're going to see pretty chilly temperatures. But the good news is we go from the 20s to the 30s, mid to upper 30s tomorrow night because we do have a storm system that's moving on in. Of course, I told you about a couple of weeks ago, we thought this was going to be a big snowstorm. Right now, there is limited cold air with the storm that's moving in. But what's going to be happening with this, you may be noticing this trend for the last several storms we've had. It warms up right before it, and then it just gets really cold afterwards. So if we were to have the cold here that will linger all through with it, then we'd most likely see a chance of some winter precipitation rather than just a standard rain. But something you're going to also notice, and this is kind of unusual say in this, we're going to have the humidity going up. So tomorrow's going to feel a little bit on that comfortable slash humid side, and that sounds kind of unusual to say that in the month of uh, January. So Thursday, you're going to definitely need the hairspray if you're heading out and about. You know what I'm talking about there, ladies, and maybe some guys out there too use that. But just do know that you're going to definitely need the hairspray on Thursday because of the humidity is going to be moving in for our region as you get your uh, day started on Thursday, thanks to a soaking rain in the making. Let's move on now to some of our area high temperatures. You'll see temperatures in the mid 50s up and down all across 220 Route 58, heading towards Axton, maybe towards Sandy Level, heading up towards the Smith River Trails. If you're doing any walking tomorrow, maybe take advantage of it. Of course, a lot of our schools are now back in session now. So 51 Boone's Mill, 52 Rocky Mount, 50 there in Fairham, 53 in the uh, Ridgeway District. We'll have 50 in Ararat, 52 both. 
Wuhan and in Stewart. Again, sea leak and dry conditions in the making, so a beautiful afternoon, very comfortable. So enjoy this nice weather because we do have some, like I said, rain moving in for Thursday. And like I did mention, the humidity levels will begin to go up. Let's move on now to the everybody's favorite. I believe this is the weekend forecast coming up uh, for us. And a lot of you all want to know what's in the making for the weekend. Well, we will see our temperatures very cool and we're going to see a mix of sun and clouds for Saturday. We'll see here coming in at 42 degrees right there. So if you're doing anything out and about this weekend, it's also going to get breezy. So we're going to most likely see some brisk conditions from time to time as our winds will be blowing out of the northwest about 15 to 20 miles per hour. So we'll most likely see fill like temperatures in the mid 30s. Winds will slowly begin to die down there coming in on Saturday night there with a low of 23. So brr indeed. If you do have a, it is a holiday weekend for everybody uh, for Martin Luther King anyway. So if you're doing any service work or anything on Monday, just do know you're going to see very nice conditions. But for Sunday, we'll see temperatures in the mid 50s out there, a mix of sun and clouds. Again, winds will quickly diminish later in the afternoon. So of course, maybe if you're uh, college kids are heading back to school this weekend, getting ready, that's starting for another semester. You're not going to be running into weather wars along south side here in the mid Atlantic or Virginia anyway. Nothing to be too concerned about. We'll see our temperatures again staying near seasonable for the month of January coming up 54 degrees. Let's take a look now at this uh, map here. We have a uh, the temperature outlook and a lot of you have been saying this has been pretty warm and let me tell you something that is correct. We're not going to be seeing any cool downs expected not for a while anytime soon. As you see that big blob of red from majority of us there, that's going to remain in place. Our friends out towards the west there, towards Phoenix, Arizona, uh, Reno, Nevada, elsewhere to the Pacific uh, Northwest, seeing very warm and dry conditions. I mean, excuse me, cool conditions. We're going to remain well above average as you make your way for the next two weeks. Do stick around. We have some more sports programming that's coming your way here on your neighborhood network. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer Chiropractic.